Hey guys, uh, TV here, and if you want to know why I'm wearing headphones, well, hallelujah. So I do have a proper mic, and proper mic will help audio. So I think I'm gonna move this aside about two seconds. So hello guys, and um, yes, you heard it from the urban title, right? We're dealing with top six FNAF characters in the whole game. So if you do enjoy this, make sure to like and subscribe and subscribe to the Killian Bar Productions and uh, his link will be in the description so don't worry about that Killian bro I got your back so yeah let's okay get at number six we have Springtrap now Springtrap in my opinion is one of the most interesting Five Nights at Freddy's characters first appearing in Five Nights at Freddy's 3 so the whole point of Springtrap why he made the list is the fact that he is not a regular animatronic he is the purple he is the purple guy while well, I'm often trapped inside the spring bonnie suit and in my opinion that makes him one of the coolest and most interesting Five Nights at Freddy's character characters and he's very important to the actual lore of all the Five Nights at Freddy's games trying to tie them all together as the purple guy. So coming in at number five is Fredbear and Fredbear has a reputation to be a very scary and he came in the best, one of the best games in my opinion, which is Freddy Fazbear 4. And Freddy Fazbear 4, or Freddy, Five Nights at Freddy's 4, it doesn't really matter, I say it either way. Either way, it's a really interesting, interesting game. And Fredbear just really added to the hype of that game because he's basically Golden Freddy. That's, I've always correlated him with Golden Freddy because Golden Freddy is really cool and Fredbear is the same. He's not really important to the story as much as other characters, but he is relevant somewhat. And I think it was about time we got a Freddy like that that can actually like walk on two legs. Wherever in Golden Freddy, he just teleports basically. And that's why I really like Fredbear, and that's why he is number five. And first of all, I just want to point out he is an excellent design, an excellent, and his jump scares are also pretty cool. And uh, yeah. Let's get into number four with Killian Barr. So let's get into it. At number four, we have Weathered Bonnie. Now, in my opinion, Weathered Bonnie is probably the, one of the most underrated Five Nights at Freddy's characters. And a lot of people in the comments are going to be saying, right, why is he at number four? How is he higher than Springtrap? How? And in my opinion, he is one of the best. I just think his, his design overall with the face and noir makes him one of the most unique animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's. In my opinion, an animatronic doesn't have to be halfway tired, tied to the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's to be a good character. And that's why Ma not whether Bonnie makes the last at number four. Are you heard that right? Number four, three, three, sorry, I get mixed up with numbers. Number three is Freddy Fazbear. And Freddy Fazbear is really one of a kind because he's that kind of, you know, he's the first animatronic that got the big screen. He was the one everybody's most afraid of, him and Bonnie. So I do think that the nostalgia really gets him a few extra points. And he, he started off the whole series. He, he is the face Five Nights at Freddy's, or at least he used to be. And I think it's kind of cool that people still praise him, even though it was the first game that came out six years ago, six or seven years ago. And it's just, it's really brilliant to see him getting this kind of correlation because you don't see it much in old characters. Name the first Star Wars character that you really got attached to. Me, it was in the prequels, and that was not long ago, so it, it can happen. So yeah, I do think that Freddy should be here. And, as you know, I'm not the biggest FNAF addict. Killian's gonna know more than me, and a lot more than me. So, if he's going on by Springtrap and the Purple Guy, he can go on by Springtrap and the Purple Guy. But, Freddy is amazing. So let's just get out of the bother. Let's get to number two. Okay, at number two we have the puppet. Now the puppet is 100% one of the most fan favorite characters from Five Nights at Freddy's. 
I think he is one of the best as well. Just like I said, I he I know the puppet is one of the most like popular characters, but I still think for some reason they are underrated, despite them being one of the most popular characters, if you know what I mean. Like there are other characters who are ahead of them, which I don't see them being ahead. I think the puppet should be like way more ahead of them and like popularity. And that's why num the puppet makes number two on this list. Number one is Furboy. And Furboy is Foxy. And I think there's a because he doesn't really get the attention he deserves. Because I don't know why. He's he's rated high. But I also feel he's underrated. Because Foxy is just genuinely that good. And oh we got disproved. I believe the Foxy is a good guy theory from the first game. And now I know the second game's prequel, I can forgive him for trying to hurt you. And then the third game is a hallucination, so. And the fourth game is a different Foxy, so. Foxy's a good guy. His jump scare is the weakest in all the games. Let's just get that out of the water, but. I like that by Foxy, because he's not all up in your face. And I don't think a Foxy jump scare would have worked. Because why is he going to do this and he just burst into your face? No, I don't think that's going to happen, so, anyway, that will wrap it up, Foxy is quite <laughs> the person, I really like Foxy because he's, he's a mix, he's not electronic, but he's not as bad as the other ones, he doesn't kill you, he just scares you, and that can give you a heart attack, and that's why you die, he doesn't jump at you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, if you like my new microphone, um, hit like. If the microphone doesn't even change anything, just leave a comment. I think it's pretty nifty. And I don't really care for the audio. I just really think this will boost in it because it's better audio and it's clear audio and it's just it's just better, okay? It's just better, okay? <laughs> right. Let Kelly into the outro because he's a guest on our channel. Okay, hey guys, thanks for watching, like Nathan said, and thanks for having me, Nathan. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Stuart TV and my channel, Kelly and Bar Productions. Bye.